Welcome back everyone. So today, this is going to be a very chill day. I just want to relax and focus on, on waging. Uh, so not, uh, probably not going to hit some driver or so on. I just want to hit some relaxed shot. Just get the blood flowing into my body to relax and recover from the work I do in my real estate. And yeah, so I'm going to focus on waging and try to really improve on it because I have improved for, on the last few weeks on the direction and now I start really getting good in terms of, uh, of getting accurate uh, in, the, in terms of direction but now, now I want to get better in terms of distance control and so um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take a wedge I, I don't know yet one, which one but maybe the, the 52 or the 6, 58 I don't know but I'm just going to hit a few shots to warm up, see what the range of my uh, distance is, and then I'm going to pick one, uh, pick just one distance inside this range. Let's see if I remember correctly, my 52 is between 80 to 100 meters with my uh, wedge swing. And so I'm going to pick, for instance, exactly in between, 90. Okay, so then I'm going to try to hit 95 times so it doesn't have to be in a row it doesn't uh, like I, i'm doing it with a uh, direction direction is in a row i want to have uh, but now no especially because i'm choosing exact number i need to be 90 ish <laughs> which is 90.1 90.5 and so on so that, that's difficult i'm not there yet in, to be able to make multiple shots in a row what i want is just to make it just be able to make it five times. And then I'm going to move on to another distance, man. Uh, I say I'm going to try to, either I'm going to move up like 91, 92, 93, or maybe I'm going to, because what I want is being able to build an awareness of the change in distances. And um, I don't know if I should just go all in on the very specific distance or currently maybe I, ju I just need to build awareness between uh, larger distances where I'm, because I'm not yet comfortable enough to have a, a very narrow distance like just one meter by one meter maybe maybe 2.5 let's say um, I try to uh, do it uh, 90 then 90.5 and then uh, 95, I don't know. Um, no, I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, yeah, not five times, but only three times. And I'm going to go one meter by one meter. Yeah. And so, so I take my range, I divide it in two. I start from the middle and, and work my way up. Then I come back to the middle and I st and walking my way down and then I move on to the next club. Probably something like that. Anyway, so let's get to it. And also you will see something. I'm going to change the, um, the data I'm displaying on my trackman because now I want to focus on distance. And distance is different from, pres from dispersion. You don't want to be focusing on the same data. The data that matter when it comes to distance is going to be uh, impact, it's going to be uh, smash factor, uh, angle of, of attack, spin rate, uh, and, and so on. And launch angle also, uh, dynamic loft, all of those things that are uh, establishing how the ball is going to fly. And, and this is going to tell you how long this is going to fly. A spinner ball is going to fly less. It's going to, as well, when it lands, it's going to spin back more. So, all of these parameters are going to be, uh, have to be taken in consideration when you are trying to repeat the distance. Because then, when you know all those numbers, when you know all those data, you can start to try to tweak them a little bit in order to be more and more precise as, uh, as you go. And so, this is where I think maybe, maybe I'm wrong to be just from now on one meter by one meter. Maybe I should just try to find a way to swing to, to a comfortable distance system 
and then then tweak the data uh, like launch angle, spin rate, and so on to to adjust the distance. But I I don't know. I don't know if it's how much I can be precise only by feel. Yeah, but if if I start using those parameters in order to, to, to manage the distance, then when it is going to to be some uh, difference it's in temperature, in a, in the green condition and so on, then I won't have the possibility to use those parameters to affect the way the ball is going to land or fly. Uh, yeah. Probably no, probably no. I should just be able to hit any distance with different uh, trajectory so I, I, I think I'm going to stick with what I what I thought at the beginning let's try to hit perfect distance and maybe and as I progress maybe in the future I will try to hit them with different kind of trajectory different kind of spin and so on I, I think that's better and, and the, I have and I think I have way more um, potential improvement in the future if I do it like this because this is that the way you train also either constrain you or, or enable you to uh, to improve in the future and so I think if I just try uh, get higher standard in just distance control then uh, by tweaking all of those parameters I can know um, I can eat, I can eat the same distance but with different trajectory and have better control when the ball is landing on the green. So I think further down the road is going to be more beneficial.
to say something, but you are all that I see. You got dynamite. That smile's gonna be the end of me. I bet you taste like chocolate. Can I have it for free? I'm an explosion. That smile's gonna be the end of me. I want to say something, but you are all that I see. You got dynamite. That smile's gonna be the end of me. I bet you taste like chocolate. Can I have it for free? I'm an explosion. That smile's gonna be the end of me. That smile's, that smile's, that smile's, that smile's gonna be, gonna be the end of me. I want to say something, but you are all that I see. You got dynamite. That smile's gonna be the end of me. I bet you taste like chocolate. Can I have it for free? I'm an explosion. And that smile's gonna be the end of me. You cannot lie over on my tie. You cannot lie over on my tie. You cannot lie over on my tie. Let's take each other out. You cannot lie over on my tie. You cannot lie over on my tie. You cannot lie over on my tie. Let's take each other out. something but you are all that I see you got dynamite that smile's gonna be the end of me I bet you taste like chocolate can I have it for free I'm an explosion that smile's gonna be the end of me I'm gonna say something but you are all that I see you got dynamite that smile's gonna be the end of me I bet you taste like chocolate can I have it for free an explosion and that smile's gonna be the end of me that smile's that smile's that smile's that smile's gonna be the end i want to say something but you are all that i see you got dynamite that smile's gonna be the end of me i bet you taste like chocolate can i have it for free i'm an explosion that smile's gonna be the end of me you cannot lie over my tie you cannot lie
Triple crowns packed, but I'm alright. Gonna let myself let go. I didn't live up to his standards, but he didn't come close to mine. I was too much for him to handle. Yeah, right. I wasn't his kind of a woman. Didn't fit into his mold, but I don't need his approval. So he can't mind.
Keeping me safe in 
Getting back up on my feet 